Hello everybody, hope you all are well. In this video, we are going to study about uh, NTC sensor. So, I have taken KY028 NTC temperature sensor where I will be getting both analog as well as digital output from this sensor. Okay. So, before going to the hardware and see how it is working, let us understand the Arduino sketch over here. Okay. So, you can see the code over here. In the first end, I have taken A0, which is nothing but my analog input to the Arduino board from this sensor. I can check any pin from A0 to A5, but I have chosen A0. Similarly, I have taken pin number 2 for digital input from my NTC KY02 sensor uh, to the Arduino board. And for LED, I have taken 12. I can take the inbuilt LED also, but uh, to show you clearly, I have taken uh, an external LED which is connected to pin number 12. So before proceeding further, let us understand what is NTC. It is called negative temperature coefficient. That means as I increase the temperature, the resistance will decrease. I repeat, as I increase the temperature, the resistance will decrease. So it is working on negative temperature coefficient. Okay, we will see the working of that one. Now coming to setup method, what I have done is that I have taken analog input, you can see the first line, that is input, digital input is also input. Okay. I can just take analog or digital also, but I have written analog input and digital input, okay. And LED is output. Serial dot began is 9600 is the baud rate as you already know from other videos of mine and audio section. Now coming to the loop section, I have taken analog as in float and digital as an integer, okay. Now slightly coming down, what I want that uh, there is because the, we have a potentiometer on this uh, sensor, NTC sensors, okay, 0 to 8, KA. So in that we can uh, turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise to get the sensitivity, okay, increase or decrease the sensitivity of the sensor, right. So the analog part is directly connected to it. So whatever reading I am getting for this analog pin, okay, from the sensor, I want to convert it into voltage. For that reason, what I have done, I have taken analog read command, it is analog input, into 5, that is my supply voltage, 5 volt divided by 1023, okay, you can go for 1024 also because, why 1024, because 0 to 1023 is 1024, but I have taken 1023, okay. Then I am reading the digital uh, values also from the sensor because it is giving both analog and digital. So my idea over here is that I want to put a threshold when the analog value will go increasing. Okay, I will put a threshold when the threshold cross it will give me digital output. Okay, so digital will come in either 0 or 1. So initially it will be 0, the moment the threshold is crossed, okay, it will be 1. So I am not showing you the temperature in analog form, rather the voltage will be there. So I will set the voltage and as the voltage threshold is crossed, okay, the digital output will come, okay. So that I want to show you over here. So you can see this is a printing statement which I have taken analog voltage. The label will come, you can see in the serial monitor, I will show you. Then analog for this 4 means after decimal point, 4 value will come. For that I have taken this 4. Then voltage symbol will come, then limit value means if it is the value is limit is crossed, then it will glow, uh, the digital output will come, otherwise it will show that limit value has not been reached, okay. So you can see the lower part of the code uh, I have written over here. If digital logical equals to one, equal to equal logical equals to one, okay, then it will print that rich. Okay, rich means the threshold value is reached. So digital status will come as a digital value will come, which I have recorded in over here, okay, and the LED will glow. If digital value is, I mean to say the threshold has not been crossed or not reached, okay, it will print not yet reached and LED will not glow, okay, and then a uh, demarcation line will be there, right? So let us simulate the code and have a look how it is uh, working, okay. So first of all, I will compile it over here, you can see. Uh, so it is compiling now, once it is compiled, I will connect the board and I will show you how it is exactly working, okay. Compiling is done, but I will just dump the code into the board. So before dumping it, let us see how the board looks like, okay, and what are the connections over there. Well, uh, now you can see the connections over here, okay. So this I'm going to connect to my Arduino board. You can see this is my Arduino board, okay, where I have connected uh, uh, the different connections from the sensor. So this is my sensor, okay. Uh, let me take it out and show it to you. So let me take it out. Yeah. So this is my sensor, you can see. So this is my uh, potentiometer. You have a screw over here which you can rotate, okay, to set the sensitivity. Now we are having four pins basically. Let, let us make it more clear. So this is the four pins. You can say A0, then the ground, then plus, then D0. So this side is my analog output. This is my digital output, last one. And then analog output is followed by ground pin. Then plus means plus 5 volt you have to give. Okay. And uh, 
this you can uh, set it out the sensitivity as i told you we're rotating the uh, screen with potentiometer already have set it and this is by the black one is my third booster okay so uh, i will just give you a demo by touching this how the led will glow this is the external led which i have taken okay and these are the connections this is the resistance okay so what i have done is that i am just plugging this one over here okay to this ports you can see this ports and accordingly what i have done you know the connections how to do it from my earlier videos so what i have done is that this a0 the analog out okay i have taken to my a0 pin on the uh, audio board a0 pin over here you can see this one okay and then i have given my 5 volt and ground connection to the breadboard where the sensor is uh, the sensor is connected okay and then uh, what i have done is that from here this side i have given led connections okay so now let us uh, connect it and have a look how it is working right well the sensor used over here is ntc sensor okay ky028 you can see it properly the connection okay and the yellow color wire okay is for digital input from the sensor okay well now you can see i am ready for uploading so what i will do i am just clicking this one for upload and how to upload you know very well okay already explained that one in earlier videos okay and you can see the codes are also there so let me uh, see the green bar is completely done and this is my circuit uh, okay so you can see uploading is done and now I open the serial monitor you can see the values okay so different analog values are coming you can have a look into that one okay now what I'm going to do is that you can see my green LED is not glowing okay and limit not reached is showing limit not reached okay so what I will do I've set already the uh, I'm going to say uh, the sensitivity for this so what I'm going to do this black one is there no I'm going to hold this in my hand so my body temperature will come and it will reach the limit you see I'm holding this in my hand okay see now you can see the serial monitor okay analog voltage then limit value reached and distro status is one you can see the green LED is glowing the moment I remove my hand okay you see now uh, this not glowing and again it is going back to its states so this shows that how my ntc is working over here okay i hope the things are clear to everybody thank you for watching the video